Hey, what's up you guys? So today's video is going to be different from some of my other ones. I'm going to be showing all my customs that I've ever made. So from my very first custom to my latest custom. So let's get started with my very first custom. So my very first custom was Monster Cat. And Monster Cat is basically the mascot for the electronic music label Monster Cat. I just basically used the simple DIY male body and I used a little bit of clay, my first time using clay. And I made the box with paint markers and I even printed out some decals to put on there. There's the side of the box, there's the other side of the box, and then here's the back of the box. And as you can see, that's their logo, that's their mascot. I just printed a picture out, taped it on the back, and that was that. Pretty mediocre, I will say, but it was my first custom, so yeah. Now let's go ahead and take this out of the box so you can see in more detail. All right, so here he is. So basically just painted him all black. This is when I used actual acrylic paint. So as you can see, not very, not a lot of clean strokes, very messy. I taped off the mouth so that I can uh, get those lines. Not very clean, but close enough. Very, very dusty. The clay is just not molded very well. And as you can see, the tail uh, fell off, so that just kind of sits in the box. But yeah, overall, not very happy with this custom. But I think in the future, when I start to use clay more, I'll probably redo this custom and hopefully uh, do a better job on this. Now next is a set that I made, which started off with this one right here in the corner. Um, at first, the one that I made here was just a random thing. I didn't really mean it to be something. But then I ended up wanting it to be some kind of a superhero uh, group. And I sort of pretended like it was like a superhero comedy movie. And so yeah, I didn't really know what to do with this line. I just, it was something fun to make and I think they turned out pretty good. But yeah, let's start off with the main four here. We have Blaster, Cosmic, Astro, and Hope. Don't ask me how I came up with the names because they kind of just came to mind. Hope, though, uh, has a meaning, though, since it has a pink ribbon there. Obviously, you know, Hope, you know, with breast cancer and all that. My mother passed away with uh, breast cancer, so this was kind of dedicated to her. This line was just pretty random to make, uh, but I uh, kind of like it. There's the sides of the boxes. And then the back, some of them messy than others. And then the sides. Yeah, here they all are. Here's all of them out of box. As you can see on their chest, they have their symbol, which is basically the first letter of their name. And there's a look at the back of them right there. But yeah, kind of weird. But uh, yeah, I still have some more, but I, I still have some more that I want to work on. I have uh, a couple unmasked versions of these two right here that I want to be uh, working on. And also an alternate suit for this one that I want to be able to work on as well. But yeah. I even made dorbs to go with those as well. As you can see, I have an unmasked Astro there, and I'm working on a unmasked Astro of the Pop version. That'll take a while though, because I'm trying to find the right head for it. But yeah, I also made concept arts of the other characters in dorbs form, but uh, not sure when I'll get to those. Then here's a look at these two, and this is basically uh, me saying that there was a second movie of this uh, made-up movie that I had in mind. And so Astro has a new suit. I also have a new character here called Liberty. There's the sides of the boxes, the back of the boxes, and then the other side of the box. Now here they are out of box. I like the metallic silver that I used for the head on this one. I actually put 50 stars on this head. I didn't even count when I was putting them on, but then when I decided to count after I started putting them on, I had one more to go, so I just put one more star and made it 50. So I like that detail that's there, that there's actually 50 stars on there. And here's the older Astro with the newer Astro to compare their suits. Still of the same red accents on there, still the same lines, just uh, different colors. And let me know, which suit do you like better, the new one or the old one? And in terms of the dates of these customs, of when I made them, I think it was between early 2015 and early 2016. Alright, and we're finally back. Yeah, those previous clips that you saw of me talking about my customs, those were like, maybe almost a year ago? Maybe? I don't know. But 
it was a long time ago when I first started that video. But now I'm starting to get back into it, showing the rest of my customs. Uh, I recently got this little uh, display, little turntable thing, so it's easier to show off these customs. So yeah, glad we're back into it. So first right here, we have one of the members from a musical group called Pegboard Nerds. Uh, it's a group I listen to. They produce EDM. Um, but yeah, this is one of the characters, one of their persona uh, characters. This one's Michael. And then the next one I have is Alex. There's Alex there. Um, tried to base it off uh, this background picture that I have there. That's why uh, I used Goku for... Uh, Alex because his hair was kind of crazy in the in the picture um, But yeah, I think these turned out pretty well uh, My dad airbrushed them uh, they he put a white primer on it I think and then he painted over it with blue and then I finished up the touches with red um, Like the little heart in there and all that a lot of it didn't turn out that great because um, there's some cracking in places like up there and definitely, as I'm sure you can tell on the back of this one, yeah, a lot of cracking there because um, I used a paint pen um, and I didn't really let the uh, airbrushed paint dry <laughs> all that well. So my lesson was learned there to make sure it's dry completely, like let it dry for like a few days, like maybe a week at the most. But uh, yeah, but... Uh, I recently made some more concept art of these guys updated, so I might end up making an updated version of them. Um, we'll see, but right now they're uh, pretty good and uh, proud of what they turned out. Alright, next I call this the Purple Lantern Flash. Um, I had an extra black and white flash from those Hot Topic mystery boxes a long time ago, and so I traded one away because uh, I got three of them, so I traded one away for Black Blackout Ant-Man, I believe. And then I had it, I still had an extra one, so I just decided to customize it. And this was the first thing that came to mind. Um, but yeah, I call it the Purple Lantern Flash. Um, nothing crazy or fantastic, but just a repaint. Um, but purple was my favorite color, so it was just natural that uh, I made this one. Next up, this is what I call a Zombie Superman. Um, this one was kind of weird. Um, I decided to go with a silver uh, suit with a black cape. Um, and then I went for the green face and all that. I overdid it on the face with paint, I think, but it kind of worked out because it kind of layered on top of each other like it was, uh, you know, like it was a zombie, you know, zombie flesh. The hardest part, I would say, was the decals. So as you can see, I put one on the back, I put a logo on the chest, and then on the mouth I had, like, the... I took that from the Blackest Night Batman, or, uh, yeah, the Blackest Night Batman. Um... But yeah, so the decal didn't really stick that well on the front because of uh, how it was shaped, but it's it's still on there in some way. But uh, yeah, this was me experimenting with uh, decals, um, and uh, I don't think it worked <laughs> quite that well. And I think, as you can see on the back of the cape, again, this was a situation where I didn't let it dry, and so it started cracking. But I figured since it's a zombie form of Superman, it shouldn't matter that much, um, considering his cape would probably be all messed up anyways, so yeah. Next up we have one of the more interesting customs that I've done is the Zurnob Batman. Now I started working on this custom a long time ago, um, uh, but I started working like on the head, I took the head off and I started working on the head. Um, I didn't really have the right kind of paint or something for the body, I can't remember what, uh, why I didn't finish it as soon as I uh, had it. Because I had this Batman for a while and uh, decided to do a custom on it. Um, but as soon as I finished the custom, like, I posted it on the Funko Pop Reddit, I believe. And as soon as I finished it, the actual Zerna Batman Pop got leaked as a Target exclusive. And so I was like, well, that's quite interesting that I just now finished this Pop and we just now got a, a leak of the actual Pop. Um... So I was like, well, I guess I don't really need the regular pop, and it was a very limited run anyway, so uh, so I wouldn't have been able to get it anyways. But I was kind of glad I did this custom way before, well not way before, but before it, it got shown, because um, otherwise I would kind of feel weird making the custom 
um, after I had seen the fact that it was real. I don't know. It's just, just some weird thing in, in me. But I do like my version better though, because I like the full black, uh, the full purple cowl rather than like the black window that they kind of have over the eyes and all that. I don't really like that look. Um, so I prefer the whole cowl being purple and uh, made the eyes look a little angry. Uh, I put a little five o'clock shadow or a little scruff, scruffle on his uh, uh, his face there. So I like that too. But yeah, this is probably one of my favorite, like, I, I don't know what it is. I think it's just the colors. I just love the color combinations with the purple, uh, red, and yellow. So, but this is one of my favorite Batmans out there. That's why I really want to collect a whole bunch of Zerna Batman stuff. Um, I even made a custom XL Dorbs, um, a custom X-Ray Batman, and it's, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I really want to expand my Zerna collection, but yeah, this was my Zerna Batman. Next, we have a pink Stormtrooper, which is basically a breast cancer awareness Stormtrooper. Um, I found an extra Riot Shield uh, Trooper. Uh, this was back when, like, Wal Walgreens exclusives were like super hard to find I I'm talking super hard to find not just hard to find like they are now but like they were super hard to find at this time um, but yeah I found an extra one and decided to make a custom out of it um, this was actually my first time uh, airbrushing something because uh, my dad would usually help me airbrush but this time he's like I want you to try it so I tried it and I think it turned out pretty good uh, I taped up a lot of the areas like the face uh, area and I taped off of the the gun or whatever that's supposed to be uh, and the um, the shield but uh and yeah there's a lot of little detailed areas I had to tape off and be careful with but yeah I think it turned out really well uh, this is probably one of my favorite ones that I've done so one of the more proud proud ones that I've done but uh yeah I think it I think it turned out really good and I I really like it now with these next three that I'm about to show, these were basically just in my repainting stage. There was times where I didn't really have an idea for a custom or I didn't have uh, certain pops to make a custom. So I just ended up grabbing some pops that I didn't really care for anymore and repaint it into something that I would actually enjoy. So I had this Age of Ultron Iron Man. Um, I had, this is when the Civil War Iron Man came out in that two pack that was exclusive to the Collector Core. Um, he was in a much better pose in that one, um, much better design. So I was like, well, I already have uh, one Iron Man. Uh, so I decided to customize this Iron Man into a different suit. And I think this one turned out really, really well. Um, there are some parts where you can see some red still under the black. Um, so not a super great job there, but I still really like how it turned out. Now this one, I have no idea what I was trying to accomplish here. I just tried to figure out a cool combination to do and silver and black was basically what I chose. Um, not really sure what this would, what this Captain America would be called. Um, and the design on the shield I thought was kind of cool. So uh, it kind of looks Venom-y uh, to be honest. It kind of looks like the shield from the new Venom wave of the uh, Captain America. kind of looks like that a little bit. But uh, yeah, this was just a fun uh, project uh, to do. Random, I know, but eh, it's whatever. And lastly here, I have this Spider-Man. Uh, I saw a picture online that was kind of a, like a, the movie version of like the Tobey Maguire version. I had it a uh, concept art that was kind of like a silver or in black tone with red eyes or whatever. So I decided to go off of that. Um, this was actually a pop that I got from Dave and Buster's uh, that I got with my tickets. So I figured I can just make the make this custom because um, I didn't really care for the pop after I got it. I kind of regretted getting it, but, but there wasn't really other any other good choices. So uh, yeah, this custom's kind of odd, but I mean it's better than the original in my opinion. 